Hey guys, how are you? Uh, I just thought I would knock some of these questions out of here. Emil Carbeza asks, what is Jing? Now before I start, I just want to say that Jing could be a lot of different things depending on the style you're practicing, but I'm gonna just speak for myself, for my style. Jing is classically uh, defined as the combination of Qi, internal energy, and Li. The two together, expressed by the body, create Jing. What's better, pushing something or shoving something? Now. Both may be able to create the same amount of output, but it's the kind of force that we're looking at, not which is more forceful. A big debate, who kicks better, Taekwondo or Muay Thai? Although the method of kicking is similar, you know, in Chinese martial arts, we can identify that the kind of force and the body action is different. It's a different kind of jing. To compare the two would be like comparing a handgun and a shotgun. Instead of having this debate, learn both. Be a good martial artist, be open-minded. Instead of figuring out what you're good at and then sticking to that thing and defending that thing, learn everything you can. You know, if you don't agree with Muay Thai kicks and you learn them, you can use them. You can defend them better. If you don't agree with Taekwondo kicks, same thing. If you can do both, you're that much better. If you stick to one, then you're limiting yourself. You're limiting your body because of this. That is not the way to be a martial artist.